Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because we are testing out the brand new Karuchi Times Colourpop Makeup Collab. I love Karuchi and I love Colourpop. So, obviously this video is one of my favorites to film. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kendra. I post beauty slash lifestyle videos and I'd love to have you guys join the family. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I freaking love Twitter and also Instagram. So check me out there if you wanna be a part of this social media family as well. But I feel like we don't have a lot else to say, but we got some cool products to get into. So let's just do just that. Let's get into them. <laughs> so I did not buy the entire collection because Duh, but <laughs> I did buy the brown sugar eyeshadow palette. I'm obsessed with this packaging. Do you see this like brown camo? And I love the like almost 70s inspired font. Like it is so cute. And it's just like the ColourPop Ooh La La palette where it is in this like hard plastic. And it's so pretty. I haven't touched any of the shades. I haven't swatched anything. This is the first time I'm even looking at it, but look. That's such an amazing feeling. So here are the shades here. I'm actually obsessed. I think the only shade that I don't like and might never use is this shade called Henna. It's just a super, super cool toned shade and it's just not for me, you know what I mean? Maybe if I'm doing like a really specific cool tone look, but girl, when do I ever do that? I bought one gloss and it is the shade Dumpling. I love ColourPop's glosses. They're some of my fave. And it's just this like light peachy nude. I will swatch that later. I bought two Lux lips and I'm kind of bummed because I wish they were matte Lux lips, but they're not. They're just the satin formula, which isn't super glossy or shiny, but I still prefer the matte ones because they are so long lasting by ColourPop. But anyways, I bought the two shades Cinnamon and Chocolatier. There was a fourth, not a fourth, a third, I wish I could count. The funny thing is there actually are four shades and um, yeah, I can't really count. But I do mention that later on in the video. <laughs> there was a third shade and it was a little bit more like mauve-y, like a, like a mauve-y brown. So it had like a little bit purpley pink undertones and I just knew I would probably wear these a little bit more than that. And I didn't want to buy too many things and um, spend all my monies. <laughs> so as you can see, I have all my makeup done except for my eyes and my lips. Um, this makeup was applied at 8.30 this morning and it is currently 4.22, so sorry if I'm not looking flawless anymore, but I just like did not have the energy to just wash my face and redo all my makeup just for eyeshadow, like a new eyeshadow and new lipstick. I was like, we don't need to do that. So I touched it up, hopefully it's looking good. But you know what, I'm rambling and let's just go ahead and get on into the eyeshadow first. And then we will apply some lipsticks and lip glosses and give ourselves a final review. Oh, they, she did have like these cream gel pots. I don't use eyeliner ever because of my eye shape and I could not use those as like a cream shadow all over my eye because it would crease. And that has nothing to do with the product and everything to do with my eye shape. So I did not buy those because there's no point in me reviewing them if they weren't gonna work for me anyways. But do keep in mind there are some really, really pretty shades in those too, so if you're interested, I would get right on that. The lipsticks like normal are $7, the lip gloss is $6, and the eyeshadow palette is $12. Let's get on into it. There's so much you can do with this eyeshadow palette. Like, we've got so many gorgeous options. And I really think I want to use like this shade called Saute and also this shade called Ginger. So we're gonna have some fun. So I'm gonna first start by taking the shade Chai and using it as a transition shade. It's this top gorgeous shade up here. Um, I'm obsessed with Chai tea, so I'm here for that. I'm just taking it um, as a transition shade. So I'm really going to keep it higher up though on my eyelid and not bring it down too far. Since I do feel like we're probably gonna use a lot of space with this eye look, I really want to bring things up and create a solid base, like a solid transition so that everything blends in together. I should probably zoom you guys in, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in once I'm done blending this little portion. Okay, so we have some chai down. I wish I had real chai. I really like this shade because it's not too deep, too much deeper than my skin tone, so it does look really, really soft up against my eyelid. This isn't a shade that probably will work for deeper skin tones unless it's a highlighting shade, but Karuchi did design this palette for all skin tones, which I think is amazing. I love Karuchi. 
One of the reasons I love Karuchi is because, I mean, she's Karuchi, but really one of my favorite shows ever is on TNT and it is called Claws and it's with Karuchi and she is literally just so hilarious and so awesome in that show. Every single one of the leading ladies are like so amazing. I love that show so much. I'm so bummed it's only a, like a 10 episode a season show and it's only in the summers so. I have to wait till June next year to get season three. But season three was confirmed. Anyways, if you haven't watched that and you like really, really dramatic shows, then I highly recommend it. I think I wanna take the shade up here called Amber. It's this gorgeous like terracotta, super warm, like almost like a reddish brown. And I'm just going to keep this more so focused in the crease and not bring it up as high as chai. And I'm not gonna bring it in too far, but I really just want it like right there, you know, like right in my brow bone. This is a really pretty shade. This palette is really perfect for somebody who just wants neutrals, but also like you could create a crazy look with this if you wanted to. Like, it's not like it's only for neutral lovers. I feel like it's a really awesome palette to add to your like repertoire of palettes. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever. I know that a lot of YouTubers have said this, but I'm just gonna throw this out there because it's definitely something that's gonna occur in this video. Me doing my eyeshadow is probably gonna take like 15 minutes, like this whole thing, but you guys obviously only see like four solid minutes of me doing my eyeshadow, and that is because we're not going to put like the entire process on the video. You guys would get so bored. But the point of me saying this is that the key to eyeshadow is blending. Like just sitting there and taking your time. So just keep that in mind. Like it doesn't take two seconds. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of blending. So just again, keep that in mind. And if you're trying to get good at eyeshadow because we all can get better, all of us, every single one of us, I can get so much better. It takes a lot of blending. <laughs> blending is literally the key to eyeshadow. I'm just taking a little bit more of chai and sweeping it up top just to kind of blend it through. Again, blend, blending, the key. Blend it through with the amber shade that we just laid down. I'm already digging this eyeshadow. But I want, you know, shocker, I want to add something deeper. And yeah, that's a big shocker because I never do that. So I'm going to take the shade down here called Chalk. Like C O A C C O C H O C, like short for chocolate, I'm assuming. And I'm just gonna take it on. Anyways, I forgot to mention my brushes. I always forget to mention my brushes. The first brush I used was the ColourPop fluff brush. This fluffy brush. I bought this before they started putting numbers or or names on them. But it is just like a tapered, huge blending brush. The second brush I used was the Furless Cosmetics M E3 brush. Love that brush. And now I'm using the ColourPop. It's also, I bought this before, but I think it's like a, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but it's not like, I don't know if you can tell, it's not like, do you see that? Does that make any sense? It's like fluffy, but it also is like pinched, so that it's really good for getting into your crease. Honestly, I should stop talking about it because I feel like I'm just, I could go on and on trying to find the right words to describe it, and I will fail, inevitably. Okay, so I'm taking chalk, and I'm just making sure I'm not going too heavy handed because it is a very dark shade. And I'm first just like patting it into the outer V and blending it up into the crease, but really keeping it just in that outer V area. Now I'm just doing circular motions in that area to blend it all through. I love these kinds of shades. Like they just really make certain eye colors pop. Like honestly all eye colors to be honest with you, but like these deep chocolatey, rich, warm brown shades, I love. Just taking the furless brush that I use for the amber shade and just sweeping it along the crease area just to make sure that the chalk shade is blended well. And now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more chalk. Okay, now I'm really excited because I want to use this saute shade, which is like really intriguing. I'm gonna swatch it because I haven't yet. Wow, that is such an interesting shade. Look at that. It's like almost as a warm undertone with like silver purple blue sparkle. So it's like a warm and a cool tone shade. Anyways, I think it's really cool. I'm gonna use that across the eyelid because why not? I just hope it doesn't have a lot of fallout because obviously I have all my makeup done and I don't have time to deal with that right now. So I'm just going to pat it onto the lid 
with this Lamora Classic Shader. I've talked to you guys a lot about the Lamora brush set. I linked it down below. It's actually linked down below in all of my videos. And it's from Amazon. They're super affordable. And I use them literally every day. Oh, I really like that shade a lot. I'm going to kind of leave my inner third open because I'm going to put a different shade there. But I am going to make sure I get a good amount of this shade onto my lid. Oh my gosh, it almost has like a green shift to it. I'm here for this shade. Okay, before I go in with the lighter shade on the inner third, I'm gonna take more of chalk and just blend it through with the, what was the shade called? Saute, the saute shade that we just put down. Okay, so now with the Lamora small shader brush, I'm taking ginger, which is this lighter metallic shade right out here. And I'm going to swipe this onto the inner third. It's definitely not as metallic as the other shade we let, let down, let down. We place down, but it is really pretty. I can imagine doing, like I know I do an eye look with this all over the lid as well because I love these kinds of shades. Sorry, I'm just taking a fluffy brush really fast. It might be a little too dark, but I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with that ginger shade. Also, I didn't bring anything else to highlight with and I'm that lazy, so I don't think it's too dark. It's a little dark, but not like too dark. It actually looks really pretty up there. And then going to also highlight to my inner corner. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm kind of just gonna mimic what I did on the upper lash line a little bit. I'm gonna start by taking Chai, and now I'm going to take Amber with a more precise, smaller brush and kind of keep that closer to the lash line and also closer to the outer part of my lash line. And then just a tiny bit of chalk, like seriously not a lot because it will really shorten my eyes and I'm just keeping this way out on the outer third. Oh yeah, that did a good job. Okay guys, really quickly, I'm going to put on some mascara and then I will be right back with you guys to do the lipsticks. Okay you guys, so I actually really wanna wear one of the brown colors Normally, I'd probably go for a gloss because I'm just that lazy these days. But let's swatch the gloss first and then I'm going to swatch the brown shades. This is again called Dumpling. And I thought it was going to be like glittery because I swear it looked glittery online. So I'm a little bit bummed that it's not, but it is a really pretty shade. Oh, here is a dumpling swatch. I don't love it. And that is truly because I just thought it was going to be like a glitter gloss, super easy to throw on, but this is an opaque gloss. And I just feel like they're so much harder to work with. For me, my opinion, I don't prefer these kinds of glosses. I feel like they start to look bad easily, no matter if you paid $40 for it or like $6 for it, you know what I mean? Like. I just don't love these glosses because when I put on a gloss, I want low maintenance, not high maintenance. You know what I mean? So, kind of bummed. But if you do like opaque colored glosses, you might really like this. Gloss is off. Now, I think I'm going to go in with cinnamon first and then go in with chocolatier. Chocolatier is the deeper one and I love that. I don't have a lip liner, so wish me luck. Okay, this is the shade cinnamon. This is like a yellowy undertone, I feel like. Yellowy undertone, it is definitely like a warm kind of brown. I love it. Again, I just wish they were matte. Like, I could totally rock this. I just, I won't rock it as much because it's a satin formula and I prefer matte. That being said, I do love this formula as well. It is so comfortable on the lips. I just would rather have long lasting, but you know what? That's okay, it's totally cute. Okay guys, this is chocolate here. I love this shade. This was the shade I was most excited for in the collection. Again, it would just be so much better if it was matte, but we can't, you know, we just can't win. I love it though because I've really been wanting a deep brown. I was really looking um, into buying the Rihanna or Fenty Beauty Stunna Limp Paint, Stunna Limp Paint, Stunna Lip Paint in the newer brown shade because I feel like it would just be so, like I feel like that's so gorgeous for the fall and winter and stuff. But this will just have to do. Even though it's not matte, I still think it's really stunning. And I love the formula of their Luxe lipsticks, whether they're satin or matte. I just prefer the matte. I don't know how many times I have to say that today, but yeah. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts and then we will just be done today. Okay guys, so we are done here. I have a few thoughts on this palette. I feel like the fallout was the same kind of with any ColourPop palette. It is a little bit fallout-y, I guess you could say, maybe a little bit more than you would prefer, but I don't think it's like hindering me on using the shades or like, I don't think it's like making it harder to use. 
I just feel like if you have a really big problem with fallout, maybe you won't like that it has a lot of fallout, but to me, that's not a problem. I feel like I would rather have a little bit of fallout other than a really, really stiff shade. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling. I loved every single shade I used in the palette. The ones I didn't use were Jamocha, Auburn, Henna, and Sorel. Again, as I said earlier, Henna is just like super cool tone, super gray, and I don't see myself like ever using that. But I definitely see myself using Auburn like maybe tomorrow. It's like a coppery, reddish, metallic shade, and then I, I could totally see myself doing that all over the lid. I loved Amber, and I loved Chalk, and I loved Chai. Honestly, I loved all the shades I used. I used five out of the nine, and so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I feel about this palette. I love that they make them with mirrors now. I mean, you can use these shades any single day of your life. Let's move on to the gloss. You guys already kind of feel, know how I feel about the gloss, so I'm not gonna say too much more. If you like opaque gloss formulas, you will love this, because Colourpop glosses are great. If you're like me, and when you choose to wear a gloss, you want something that's super easy and super low maintenance, you might not like this. I think this would've been perfect if they made this sheer, but with this color and glitter. I would wear that every single day. The two lipsticks, um, again, you guys already kind of know how I feel about these, so I'm not gonna say too much. I really liked both shades. Both are very, very different. One's more of a yellowy undertone. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand for you so you can get an idea. So one is more of that yellowy undertone, and then the one on my lips is this one that has more of a red undertone and it's darker. There was a super, super light nude. I don't like those shades, so I didn't pick one up for myself, and there, there was the mauve brown that I talked about earlier. I thought about buying that, but I was like, I'm probably just not gonna wear it much, especially since it's a satin formula and not a matte. And I'm just obsessed. I am so excited that I love this saute shade more than I thought I would. Like, I could totally see myself recreating this exact same eye look. It is so pretty. I'm in love with the way it turned out, and that is about it, folks. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you guys join the family. I post videos like this all the time, especially if you love ColourPop. Like, this is the channel to join because your girl loves ColourPop. Anyways, I'm in the middle of my outro and I shouldn't be rambling. Let's just get you guys out of here. I love you so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it happens to be that you're watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.